Yo, my name is Super Fantastic and the Delicious B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B I'm a recording artist, I'm a humanitarian, I'm a philanthropist, I'm a community worker, I'm, you know, an opinion leader, I'm a social media influencer, and so many other things. Because I believe that I should never be in a box. There's so much that we can achieve, and therefore I'm not limited to just one thing, and that's the reason I decided to expand my music portfolio and added so many other credentials to what I do. Um, B-Flow is defined by humility, he's also defined by being an active citizen who believes that music, you know, is about taking responsibility and not just about entertaining, but it should be about edutaining, and that's the reason I've always attached importance to issues such as, you know, social causes, about, you know, development, governance issues, artivism, and many other things. Uh, for me to make a song, Usually I'm inspired by the environment in which I live and the situations that I observe around, you know, the community where I live and I see what people are going through and then I create songs around that. So what I do is if I see a situation going on or there's an issue of importance that I feel is a pressing issue, I quickly come to the studio, talk to my producer and tell him to make a beat that would be in line with the particular message that I want to put across and then we start to make a song. Sometimes I write in advance without having a beat. I just write the lyrics and then once I have a beat then I lace it on the beat. Uh, a bit more about myself and the work that I do. I run a social enterprise called Music for Change and this is a record label. Uh, that identifies creatives that are willing to use their voices, their influence, and their talents to advocate for positive social change. Others are interested in climate change, others are interested in gender-based violence, others are interested in HIV, AIDS, awareness, others it's political violence and many other issues. And, uh, you know, running music for change obviously comes with its own challenges. And I must state that at this particular time, I am an independent artist, b -Flow, and then there is Music for Change, a record label, which involves other creatives creatives as well and if you ask me today to say how do you balance for me it's because all I can say is there's power in numbers and working together you know gets us you know to you know further places and you know as the saying goes alone I can go fast but together we can go far there's power in numbers like I said and teamwork makes the dream work and your network determines your net worth so I've created a big network of uh, fellow artists and creatives that I work with at Music for Change and that makes it easier for me. It's not a challenge per se. For me, it's actually an opportunity to learn from others because even the upcoming artists have their own fresh ideas that they bring to the table and they help me learn something that I don't know. Whereas I also use my expertise and experience to teach them what they might not know. In terms of challenges at the moment, especially with the COVID pandemic, uh, music for Change definitely has faced some, some challenges, you know, it's, it hasn't been easy to work in an environment where you can't have public gatherings because they are not permitted at the moment and you know that artists thrive on performances and doing shows, road shows, concerts, we're not having all these things. But wait a minute, we are creatives and so we create creative ways and new ways of working such as doing virtual concerts where we are performing online live on facebook collaborating with other artists such as you know wezi um, esther chungu pompey and many other artists that i've worked with you know, on virtual concerts sometimes we are fundraising through virtual means other times we just you know stage a concert and work with the brand and then maybe we put like a pop-up or a backdrop of that particular brand for example a company and that company basically pays for that performance to happen whereas people watch it for free uh, you know via Facebook or Twitter or Instagram and one of the biggest lessons through this COVID pandemic is that you need to save for rainy days you know because you never know what tomorrow holds so as creatives let's continue being creative big up